Cool. Did they get any dread? Nice. I'm at 55 dread. That's not too bad. I'll toss my crown authority up a little bit. We should check on our culture here. What are we working on? Oh, cool. We have that. So we have partition. That's awesome. What is this? Um, nice, and it paid off. I took a risk on that decision. Now what I need is that, like, where is it here? Forever Infamous? I need Forever Infamous. I need my Dread Decay to be at Never Go Away now, and I'll be golden, because my guy's pretty young. He's 29, if I, have, and I already have 91 Dread. That's awesome. I could be just running this place. Alice and Pleasant Dread per game per turn. I'm just clicking accept on these wars. I don't really know what is all being fought over here. Holy War from the Chiefdom of Chalbrook. Hey, leave my stuff alone, guys. Who's attacking? Oh, weird. Like, the Greeks are trying to get in on this, huh? Interesting. Those darn Greeks, dude, man. You can never, um... You can never just have them leave you be, you know? What's this? 1079. I can declare war on them again. Ooh. One of my wives is pregnant. Which one? This one. The one who's quick. Nice. Maybe she'll... That'll be good. I mean, it's okay that these were daughters then. Um, if I... I want a son from one of my wives that is... Uh, it's another Cold of War. I'd like a son from one of my wives that has one of the inheritable traits. And that's one of them that has it. And so is this other one here. Parween. I don't even know their names. Sheba. Sheba is a Tajik Maturidi. And she provides me my alliance with who... Nobody. Oh, it's just because she has an inheritable trait. Okay. Okay, who's this girl? Oh, this is my other wife. Uh oh, so now it's a race to see. It'd be cool if she had a daughter. Or like a second son. Oh no, and I, and I had a daughter and I love her just as much as if I would have had a son, but darn it would have been nice to have a son. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Yeah, I'll grant you a tax lien. Jeez. A Liberty Faction. Fascinating. And who's this guy? A Bahira? I would actually like him to just go ahead and send his ultimatum. And I'll tell you what, man. I'll fight you in the field. Because I am going to remove you and put in someone who's actually Egyptian, not Masriki or whatever the heck you are. And that's just the way things are going to be. What's this? My beguiling brother-in-law. I never said roll so. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I can get quite a few different things that can happen. Oh, well, let's see. I kind of want this one. Nice. That was a cool little event. I never had that one before, I don't think. Okay, so now I had a son. Great. And it wasn't with <laughs> who I wanted. Shoot. That's okay. We'll give him an Egyptian name. Um... Yes, sir. <laughs> Milad. I'm in. Is there an ancestral name we can give him? We're not really working with a lot here, are we? I want something like Egyptian y. Egyptian y. Like Ra. You know what? Let's just get crazy and call him Ra. Maybe I regret that, but that's okay. Ra Ibn. No, that's a cool name, man. If you met someone in real life named Ra, you wouldn't think twice. You'd be like, that's fine. Okay. 
Sheikh Khalid. And that's this dude, right? Yeah, he went to Batur. That's a problem. That Batur place does that. All right, so this is the Liberty Faction. Who's in it? It's just this dude. And I will not be threatened, my friend. It simply will not happen. So what we're going to do is move our guys here. And how many guys has he got? Like a thousand. Can I just buy some mercenaries and deal with this? Yes, I can. I should just buy these guys. And then also raise my military. And then I have a beautiful little fighting force here. 15,000 guys. Now what? Now what you gonna do, huh? And then I'll also call in my brother. To bring in another 750 guys. So now I've got like 2,000 guys to his 1,000. And he thought he had me. He thought he had me in a great place. What we're going to do here is beat him in this war. We're going to imprison him. Then we're going to revoke his title. And with his revoked title, um, we will give that to... That's this land here. We'll give that land to um, somebody who is an Egyptian. So we can convert this land to Egyptian away from Batur. Because Batur is a problem. We need to get a new guy in there. What's this? Some other war? Look at him up there. Thinks he's all cool sieging me down. Well, he's got seven months, actually, and I've got 16, so maybe I'm the dumb one, but... But this is his capital, so... Hopefully it all works out. Whoa! Let's see. It's like a son and a daughter. Who's this? Parween? Is the son any good? Oh, and of course the son's great. Um, let's see him after Sar Ptolemy. And the doctor. What's her name? Amira? Yeah. That's cool. And that's sweet. Kinda want my first kid to die now. A fear tax. See, that's what I need too, because with my dread so high, everyone's in fear. And they'll contribute more to me. And then I get that Dread DK. And they'll have a revolt against me. Then when I get that Dread DK there, I never have to worry about that going away. Until my next guy is in charge. Buy me the stability of the Alexandria. Six months. How long until he's done there? Three months. Jeez. Come on, finish. There we go. I can finish converting religions there, though, last second. That was kind of cool. Um, changes culture. Or maybe that was the culture. Industry. Okay. So now we are going to change the culture of Batir. I'm going to get in there right away. I probably shouldn't even give that land away, because I believe I've done, played as them in the past, and that... Whoever I give this to tends to, like... Flip back to that culture, which is kind of annoying. Who is this guy? Cool. Alright, let's go take care of their army. My brother has been a pretty good ally. Does he have any kids? He does. And then I think if we just lift these sieges, if we just lift Solom, actually, then we win. Nine months. Amir Shiba. Hmm. Gonna have a. I already got a few kids. Oh my goodness, I already have six of them. Do I have any marriage set up? Not with her. Let's grab this dude. My nephew. Asfatimid. Who's his dad? 
of the Fatima Summit, who's my half brother. Oh, our dad must have died, and then now he's just in charge of it all. I think. Interesting. What is he though? Does he get anything? This kid. I don't think so. He's just another brother. Well, no. Oh, that guy's just still in charge of Palestine. I'm just getting way ahead of myself. All right, the Duke of Karga. What's this dude? Yeah. That's fine. I'll set that up. And that was my uh, one daughter, Rhea. And then I have Ra, um, who's also not set up, and Sauter, and she is not set up. Shikim of Al Bukhara. Yes. I like that idea. Who's his heir? This guy? Nice. Yeah! I better snag up. That's cool. I'll, I'll set up to marry in with the heirs of the next leaders of Palestine and my brother's land. They're both my brother, but, you know. One of them has been infinitely more helpful. My younger brother here, who owns this land. Ooh, a fear tax. There we go. That will provide more soldiers and more money. daughter and we just won the war which means this guy's in prison for to focus titles oh but it's an act of tyranny if I get rid of the other ones hmm that's okay, because I think that one was the... Oh, shoot. Still a different culture. Shoot. Shucks. I simply own too much. It'll be split amongst my kids when I die. Let's see what we got to do here. Cyrenaica. I could probably declare war on them again, actually. Yeah, I can. They have two allies, though, now. This guy's... A, oh, my goodness. 12,000 guys. This guy has 2,000. We probably don't want to fight them right now, then. Uh, that might be a problem. Man, I feel like this music now is just really blaring in my ear. The Yusufids. Interesting. And the Seljuks. Yeah, that's going to be a problem here because, I mean, it's not going to be too much longer, probably, and the Christian world will launch a crusade on us over here. I have a claim on this, I think, don't I? Yeah, I have a claim on the Fatimid Sul Sultanate. I can't create any any factions or anything because I'm allied with them. Hmm. Probably not worth it to go to war with them. These dudes are getting kicked out of Italy for sure, it looks like. The Muslims there. Four prisoners. Let's expand Alexandria a little. Let's get, um... Oh, a, cam a camelry. Let's get a trade port. And I imagine that I'll, I'll hold the Duchy of Alexandria, so Sullum I'll keep as well. And that will also get a trade port, I think. Let's get our money production up. And there's Siwa in here, I noticed that I don't own. I should pull that under my belt, though. I think that's what I'll do. 
fabricated claim on that dude there. I don't want to own Tallbrook. Yeah, that'll be cool. Praise Allah. Therese giving birth to a perfect little daughter, Samira. Cool. All right, so the Byzantine Empire is here with about 9,000 guys, 17,000 there. My wife's pregnant again. That's cool. How exciting. Congratulations for me. A faction has been created against me. Peasant rabble. Like I said, I don't really care about them too much. I don't know about this guy's title. No. Let's do... Um, so this is tricky because this is like its own duchy. I better be careful that I don't accidentally make that or something. What happens here? No, I don't want to lose Selim. And I'm going to lose Fam as well. I hold Giza though, so that's cool. And Bahira, which is fine. To that guy. To Solder. Cool. Oh, another daughter. Nice. Thria. See, you just kind of roll out kids. I'm at nine kids already. I think my guy's only like 30 years old. Forever infamous. Perfect. What was this again? In prison chance, it's 50%. So that means his dread will never go down now. So I'm pretty tough. What is this? Holy War for the Sheikdom of Sullum. And what, they're winning? We are winning. Because of some reason. I need to join this war, I think, because um, that's my land. And I would, that would kind of suck if I just lost that piece of land. Because that is a good chunk of land. Looks like we're about to win a battle, though. So that's awesome. Who is this? My sister-in-law. Hmm. Hmm. No. Thought about it, though. Really did. Thought about giving her a tumble. Jeez, man, I am a rolling in daughters now. I need to tell my daughters that, yeah, secession definitely is safe. I've got a million kids. It's a little bit much. What is this? That's something. This. Whoop. Interesting. What is that about? We gotta unsiege this. A Muhammad. Nice. We'll do that one. That puts me at a hundred. Alright, so defender is at six thousand. They're at three thousand. Nice man. Just beat them then, please. Here, I'm gonna disband my army actually. Just make some more money. Oh, nice, and I finished my, um, those ports. So you know what we're going to do? Upgrade them. At least that one. Then I should actually build in Giza, too, because I guess I'm holding on to Giza and losing the other one, so. <laughs> Farms and fields. We just want to get our income up, our base income. That'd be great. Might have to build a little more tall. Could have a power base though. My brother was taken prisoner. Well, I got a million of them. Who's this guy? Who's he imprisoned by? 
Imprisoned by the High Chieftain of Dararo. Where's he? Way down here. Look at him fighting down in these in this nasty area. Gosh, what a campaign. It's far away, man. What are you doing down there? Ooh, what's this? What's oh, is that the dude who's attacking me? This guy is a pest. That's awesome that he's gonna have to like pay that uh pay that back or whatever. I think that's how that works. Wait, something must not be my culture because I can do this. So, but what is it? I don't see it. Um, clicking everywhere. Whoa. That was what it was. Weird. Must not have been, like, wide enough for the lines or something. Hmm. See that now, though. Victory. Alright, now I want to grant this to an Egyptian. Maybe this dude? Yeah, I'm this dude right here. We have him this land. And then here, Tobruk, I want to grant to... Maybe this dude? No, he's Bedouin. This? I don't even know. Let's see, here's an Egyptian. Come on, give me someone here. I need like a middle-aged, like like ages, fourteen to thirty dude who's Egyptian who is not going to be inheriting land otherwise. I guess I'll just give it to this guy's brother. Cool, nice, awesome. Alrighty, let's see. We've got an event going on here. Praise Allah. TD has given birth to a perfect little son. Oh, I have another son. Hmm. Abdul Majid. <laughs> yeah, that'll be him. Um, I'm going to decline, dude. Actually, because 10 gold just isn't enough. I'm getting greedy now. I'm getting well, a little more wealthy. I'm getting greedy. I'm going to lose a little stress, too. Oh, rah. You know what we'll do with this guy? Um, because we can get so many kids so fast. We are going to do the whole inheritable thing. And we're going to see if we can just find a great match for him. Um, how old is he? Nine? Really, only this girl's the only appropriate one. And what's her deal? She's a wild oat. Oh, because she's born out of wedlock. Oh, I was <laughs> I wasn't sure what that meant. That's funny. Ha. Huh. I think we'll wait a little bit longer to check. See if we can find a different match. No, um, be picky about your partners. You got enough wives and stuff going on. How are we doing here? Nice. I would like to build another building. Actually, what we'll do is upgrade the watchtowers because those I think are usually pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. I tried to aim it away from you. <laughs> Not that that makes it any better. Alright, I got some factions. You peasant rabble, just come on, get it over with. Do it or don't, you know. Who is this, Emir Shiva? It's my wife. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? She's like a decent one too. She's got um some good traits. Suhalia. Not much for alliances, but. These guys have some alright traits, so we'll grab them. Oop, what's all this? Um, dude, quit asking me to let your people go. I'm not letting them go. 
you, you guy. Oh, perfect. They got married. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have family all over the place here. This is gonna be crazy. When you play in Europe, it's a lot different. Like, look at this guy. Well, he's only 18, but you look even as liege. 63. He's only got, he's got three kids. His liege, 36. He's got one kid. England, six kids at 61. Four kids at 38. And then you jump over here. Jeez. And, well, this guy's only got four. I guess maybe I'm not going to prove my point. Watch me now. This guy's got five at 29, though. This guy's got five. This guy's got six. This guy's got 11. I've got 15. I'm 41. Five. I feel like I'm actually not even really finding that many examples. I'm kind of, I feel like, proving myself wrong. <laughs> but that's all right. I just feel like I'm having a lot more kids. Or you have a lot more kids in this part of the world than in other parts of the than when you play in Europe. That makes sense. You have three wives or four wives, I guess I have. Maybe I should only have one. If that's what I'm all mad about. See you hey, down. if you think the video was worth your time, please hit that like should and subscribe be... button. And check out the other videos on the channel. And uh, yeah, you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.